Welcome to Wrong Time Watch. My name is Kevin, and today we have an unboxing here. Uh, this watch is actually in on loan from Zelo, so really appreciate them for sending this over. Uh, this is the latest version of the Swordfish. Um, has a ceramic bezel. I'm sorry, a sapphire bezel insert instead of ceramic. So looking forward to check that out. Uh, and I will compare it to some other um, Zelo Swordfish watches in my collection. I guess it would be Swordfishes, but that sounds weird. So I'll just say Swordfish watches. Um, using scissors today instead of a knife. I think it works a little better with this package. Um, wearing the Submariner today if you're interested in that. Slide this off of here. All right, so it's double packaged. I guess we use the scissors again. I don't even know. I think these are for fabric or something. They got a kind of a funny shape to them. Let's check it out. I don't even know what color it is, anything like that. This is my first time with this new case, too. Um, it's been a little while since I purchased the Zelos. That's a nice case. Uh, it feels like aluminum. I'm pretty sure I read that it's aluminum, too. Oh wow, look at that dial. That is cool. Very cool looking watch. Yeah, that is cool looking. Um, kind of reminds me of like the Caribbean, Caribbean. Um, the houses down there are very colorful from what I've seen in pictures and stuff. So this thing looks cool. Let's zoom in here. Yeah, that is nice. Uh, I like that it's the this blue color with the white. Um, I have another Swordfish um, 40 millimeter. Actually, I sold that one, but it had a uh, vintage loom to it. Yeah, this thing is cool looking. It looks like a new clasp as well. I don't remember this system. Looks very similar to an Omega Seamaster, actually. You have dual pushers there, feels nice and secure. And then inside of here you have a micro adjustment system. Yeah, you know, I might compare this to my uh, Seamaster, which I haven't worn that much. I'm actually probably going to sell it one of these days, but that's uh, besides the point. Yeah, and that uh, looks good. Okay, so you do need to push it to push it. Um, you need to push that button in order to push the clasp back in. The previous one, you could just push it in and it would go in. You didn't have to push the um, button here to move it inwards or to tighten it up. That's a slick system. All right, let me get this on wrist and then we'll close out the video. I don't want to take too much time with this. You know, I might hit this with a UV light real quick. Oh yeah, look at that. Cool. All right, let's put this on wrist. Some nice padding in here. It's a lot of aluminum. Let me zoom back out. It's a real nice clasp. I think I like it more than uh, what they had on the previous ones. If 
you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate it, and it really does help me out. That will conclude this video. As always, thank you for your time, and thank you for watching.